welcome to a new episode of uh, Quick Look at the Book, a small series where I take a look at the printed versions of different kinds of web comics. Now today I wanted to talk about the um, printed version of Cut Time by Judy Jong. This um, book, or this six by nine inch softcover book, um, was or is the end result of a Kickstarter that was done with uh, Hiveworks and ended in December 2018. It's already uh, on the market for a while, and um, if you never have heard of Cat Time, Cat Time, how to put it, or let's let's uh, make it short. The story is about uh, the Nomad Rel and her um, Seeing Eye Falcon, uh, who are or who embarked on an adventure to bring back order to a world that lost the track of time. If you want a short review of it, um, this is a really, really amazing and beautiful um, piece of work in any uh, in any way. If you are, or if you love um, more story and character driven um, uh, comics, I highly, highly recommend checking it out. What Judy Jong did here is um, it's it's really amazing. Uh, it's it's uh, the, the the or let's put it this way: the amount of details she put into the into making this world, beginning from the characters to magic to how the magic works, and everything um, with astrology and so on. It's it's really beautiful, and um, I really highly recommend it, especially if you think that she not only wrote this, she's all uh, she's also um, drawing this one, and her art is stunning in any way. So um, yeah, I highly recommend checking it out. And if you want to, uh, I will leave a link down below directly to the webcomic, but also a link to a small video I did a while ago where I talked a little bit more in depth about this comic. So um, yes, let's get back to this um, this really neat little book. As I said, it's a 6x9 inch uh, softcover book with nearly 160 pages. Now, because it was a Kickstarter, there were also some stretch goals that um, I'm really, really glad um, got uh, were reached because they made this uh, book even um, more worth, worth it. But um, let's begin with the cover. The cover is... is I have to say it's one of the most beautiful covers I have seen. Um, not everyone will might agree with me on this one, but um, this is a cover I think really works for different reasons. One, it's very simple in a way, um, but it already tells a lot about the comic itself. You, um, beginning from uh, our main pro uh, protagonist, Rel, in there, but also um, through the circle in the, in the background, which shows a little bit what this comic is about. Um, it's it's really speaking to you, um, and again, it might not. It, or let's put it, let's put it this way: if you know the comic, you already know what's going on here. If you don't know it, um, it how to put it? It, it gets your interest uh, up in many ways to at least check it out. What makes it even more interesting, and this is where I say. Um, I'm happy that the stretch goals were met because um, this the stretch goals were um, extra red foil and spot gloss on it, and I really and I really enjoy how the gloss was was used. It wasn't it wasn't used to just cover the whole page like a lot of um, I have to say a lot of artists do that day when they when they reach that and um, try to or try to print their book they they give this give this um, give foil cover as a stretch goal but then they do a full foil cover. Yes, it's look it, it, it looks interesting at, at first, but um, I don't think it, it all it always works um, if you just cover it everything in, in uh, let, let's put it this way. The problem I have with with completely um, foiled covers is if you have a directly uh, or have a direct light source, mostly you don't see the cover um, or you can't really um, see the full full work that the artist put into it. Um, a lot of details get blurred out, and a lot of times you only see a big spot of light on it. Now, this was uh, this is uh, this is different because we only or this is the way I think it should be done because all the there are small details that put it um, like the um, like the title or small details the de details um, uh, like the whole band over here. I try to see if you can uh, yeah you can you can you can follow it um, and. 
it's not only on the cover, and th this is what I really, really, really love. It goes to the sp over to the spine. If you can see it, it's also at the top, and it continues to the back. Just a line through all these masks, but also every um, these small stars in in the back. Not all of them. It's it's really beautiful done. Um, there went a lot of thought into this one to. Um, to make it really work in this case. Another big thing um, I quite enjoy is through stretch, uh, stretch goals they got a really nice um, thick piece of paper for the for the, the back cover so um, it feels a lot nicer. It doesn't feel cheap in any way. This also um, or this this also is for every page. The, the pages if you if you feel them they are sturdy and they are really sturdy. You you they feel or let's put it this way: the way they are, the, they are covered. Um, you don't. I, I think you don't have to fear that if you just turn a page, that um, the pages will uh, rip or tear in any way. They really, f they really feel like there is some. This is a book to be to be read in in many ways. They're they're a little bit thicker than normal pages, I would say, um, and. Uh, they they just work. I think the co the the covering they they used to get the colors out um, really make made it a lot of uh, really better. Another thing I really really love about this one, um, I put it just throw it away. Um, every page is used in any uh, in in any uh, way. There are no no really empty pages. And yeah, this is the first page of the comic, so um, yeah, just you know it. <laughs> this is not an empty page, just because I'm talking about. Even the first page, we normally yes, yes, there is a, a little book to cover there. Um, just a small thing there, but it really, it it really works. Again, as I said, the pages themselves, I really love how the colors come out. I don't think you can really see it on camera. But every, every all the color, uh, all the, the the coloring really shines. The matte colors come out. The um, gloss or more glaring colors come come out. I think this is a this is a really. Or to put it this way, I, I when I heard the first time I heard that cut time would be printed, I had a hard time um, to imagine how it really will come out because I think the artwork um, of um, Ruby is very, very hard, or is one of, of the, or is, 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 how to put it, I think it's, it's, a, it's uh, an art style that's a little bit more hard to print if not done right. Um, I don't know how, um, how hard it was or how many times they had to change something, but um, it really came out uh, the way I, I believe it's, um, it should. In any way. Now the uh, the comic itself um, is uh, covering the first three chapters of the um, whole comic and has some um, bonus chapters in there, uh, or not bonus chapters, but a bonus chapter with extras at the end. So um, like like art design, um, how or how some things uh, should look, a small um, extra comic. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there, not too much, just I think the right, the right amount of um, extra stuff that, that was was added at the end. Um, again, this is a very, very beautiful, um, beautiful printed uh, comic, and I highly recommend checking it out if you can, especially if you're a fan of cut time. That said, there are three points. Um, I didn't like. Now, before I be, before, or let's put it this way: before people scream at me, um, the or try to fight me for that. This book is amazing. It's a really, really great and beautiful book. The three points I have are personal preferences. So I'm not saying that these three points will um, or destroy this book from being, uh, from being good. This is, again, this is an amazing book and I'm happy to have it in my collection for uh, various reasons. The things I didn't like, um, first of all, I'm not a big fan of the 6x9 inch um, book format um, for different reasons. It's... <sighs> I, I think it's not it, it's not the best pocket size to be honest. If you love to take it with you, but um, it's also hard to store in in some cases in your uh, in your um, book cabinet if you tr if you try to put it somewhere. Um, 
again, just my personal preference. The second pre uh, personal preference I d don't I have is uh, again, this is just a small thing, um, but. I don't like it if you have on some pages the page um, the page counter and then you have completely uh, full drawn pages and we have it's very hard. Sometimes you have uh, a few pages where where there's no um, so, uh, where there's no uh, counter and then you have a few pages where there there is again the um, the page number. Yeah, it's a small detail. Again, this doesn't make it bad. It's just um, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just obsessed with numbers in this case. I again, it's just um, it's my personal preference. One that I think, but about the last point, I think this is one that mm, a little bit more people might get uh, a problem with. As I said, this the cover was reinforced um, in the in a in a stretch goal, or there was a stretch goal that uh, said that the cover will be and the spine will be reinforced. I am not sure about this one. Um, how, if this is if this is just this copy or if this is through the whole lot? I sometimes have the feeling when I try to to um, turn the pages. I have the feeling the um, the spine is that hard that if I turn the pages a little bit more, they might they might rip out uh, or the spine might get a little loose. But again, this is just my personal um, my personal feeling. So maybe you, you try to per to turn the pages yourself and you will see that. So um, yes. Um, this was everything to see. My, my final verdict, if you see this one, if you're a fan of Cut Time, get this book. It's really beautiful, it's an, an, uh, it's an amazing comic and I highly recommend checking it out. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!